like amethyst, he going in. Sound, I rock best What's up, everybody? It's Sasalina Suave, the smoothest, the colors, the bonus you already noticed. And we're back with another video. So I love perfumes, fragrances, all that kind of stuff. So I said, why not make a little video about my favorite fragrances? And I'm going to tell y'all where you can get it from. Um, I got my little notes here. You know, I'm going to tell you the scent profile, all that good kind of stuff. Now, it's not really gonna be in any particular order but i'm just gonna tell y'all like the five fragrances that i wear the most so nine times out of ten if you've given me a hug and you thought i smell good i probably had one of these fragrances on okay so we're gonna get right into it okay so this first perfume i think you pronounce it five sins is five s-e-n-s and I got it from Sephora, so most of the time when I get my fragrances, I get them from Sephora or Ulta or someplace like that. So this one I got from Sephora. And let's see. It's Five Sins Life of the Party. And it comes in this cute little purple box. And this size is the one fluid ounce size, and it is a perfume. Let me go back. Let me go back. So the five cents is in like a simple, more simple packaging. In this little beige, you know, bottle. Very convenient size. This you can fit in your purse if you wanted to. Um, even if you have a small purse, because I'm not really a huge purse girl. Like most of my purses are like smaller size. So this fits in my purse. But yeah. And let's see. I got my little phone here. So it is vegan. So those for those of you who care about where they're a certain products are like vegan and stuff so it is a vegan fragrance um the fragrance family is floral so most of the time i am a floral girl i do like floral perfumes and the scent type is a fruity floral specifically and the key notes in the fragrance are peach blossom saffron and ambrox i think i'm pronouncing that right so it says it has notes of black currant peach blossom, saffron, midnight jasmine, and ambrox in it. And it smells really good. Um, one thing that I kind of noticed about this particular fragrance, it's, it's a fruity scent, but like, it kind of has a little spicy smell to it. And if you, if you wear perfumes a lot, you know what I'm talking about. It's not like super sweet smelling like candy but it's sweet with like a under a undertone of like a little spice but i really like it a lot of times i wear this as like my everyday perfume so if you just see me out and about or like i'm at work or something like that i probably have this one on and it comes in like a travel size and then in this one fluent ounce size i think i paid like 65 for this one so that's actually not bad for a perfume that's really affordable in my opinion so definitely if you're if you want to try out something new that's not like a super major brand name i would definitely try that out because this smells really good trust me so this next one I said I wasn't going to do it in no particular order but I really think that this one is one of my favorites like I use this one a lot and this one also is um, a floral scent, but it's another one that to me kind of has like a kind of a spicy smell to it, along with the sweet smell. And it is Marc Jacobs Daisy Ever So Fresh. I freaking love this one. As, as you can tell, because I got it in a big size. I love this one. So... This one is 2.5 fluid ounces, and it is a perfume spray. And so it says, I got this one from Sephora too. This one is a floral scent, but it is also woody and earthy. Um, the fragrance family is floral. The specific scent type is fruity floral. And it says that the keynotes are mango, rose water, cashmere, woods. 
but I think the cashmere woods is probably what gives it that kind of spice that I'm that I'm trying to describe. I don't really know another word for it, but just go to the store and smell it for yourself and you'll see what I'm talking about. But this one is like my absolute favorite. Now, I think there is one size bigger than this one. I think, um, let me take it out, the packaging for you. This packaging, as you can see, I done gave this a run for its money. It's about time to re-up. I love this bottle so much. Packaging, packaging matters to me. Obviously, I would rather the perfume smell good than the packaging, but honey, the presentation matters in my opinion. This one, because I'm running low, I've been more so wearing it like when I go out places, but this, when I wear this, I, I get a lot of compliments on this one. Now, I think for this size, I'll probably put pictures somewhere over here, but I think for this size, I paid like 145, 150 or something like that. So it's a little, it's not super expensive, but it's not like the five cents where it's like $65. Um, definitely, definitely try these out. And these fragrances um, that I'm gonna show y'all today, they also come in mini sizes. So like the 20, 25, $30 little mini size. So if you don't know if it's gonna smell good with your body chemistry, cause that also matters. Every scent doesn't settle the same on everybody's skin. Cause you gotta consider like, you know, the oils in your skin, what type of products you use on your skin. It might smell a little different, but yeah. On to the next one. This next one is also a very good contender. Now, like I was saying earlier, if you gave me a hug at homecoming and you were enticed, this is what I was wearing, okay? Versace Bright Crystal is that girl. Love the box with the little ombre and the little silver details. Love the box. So this size is a 1.7 fluent ounce. And... The Fragrance Family, I got this from Sephora too. The Fragrance Family is fresh and the specific scent type is a fresh floral. The keynotes are Yuzu Lemon, Peony, and Musk. I, I don't know if I ever pronounce the um, Peony or is it Peony, but y'all know the flower that I'm talking about. And it says it also has a little bit of pomegranate and magnolia lotus flower and amber in it as well now this one this one can even go as an everyday scent as well because it's a very fresh but light fruity smell so it's not super overpowering but i just love this and look at look at the bottle y'all like that is so cute to me like the little clear thing on the top very cute very cute i want to say I think for this size, I think I paid like 85, 90, and I think there is one size up from this one that I have. So yeah, this also comes in mini sizes. So if you wanna get the mini size to put in your purse, cause this, this won't fit in your purse. But yeah, this one is a very fresh scent. It's very light. You know how some, some perfumes, well actually this is a, excuse my French, cause I'm not, a, I, I, I'm not good at French, but the, all day toilette so i think if i'm not mistaken these are a little bit lighter than a perfume and it just smells so good y'all i think this one in the mark jacobs is probably my favorite um because most of the time i've noticed when i do go buy perfumes i either get a warm floral or a fresh floral scent i'm not too hot on the gourmands, some of them do smell good, but I feel like mo most gourmand um, perfumes don't settle the best on my body chemistry. But yeah, definitely check out the Versace Bright Crystal. That's what I was wearing at homecoming, if you care to know. This one is more, to me, this one is more a little bit on the sweet smelling side. It's not like the Versace Bright Crystal where it's like a lighter smell. I think this is a little sweeter. So the Burberry Her, but I got the Elixir. So not just the perfume, but the Elixir. So this one's a little bit stronger than 
the regular perfume and this size is the one fluent outside fluid ounce excuse me size fragrance family like i said is floral scent type is a warm floral and the keynotes are dark red berries jasmine and vanilla and it says that this one is a fruity gourmand so i think that's kind of why it smells a little sweeter um and it has hints of amber in it as well so let me show you the actual bottle it comes in a cute solid pink bottle this one also can fit in your purse this one is kind of this one this one gives me dinner vibes like a nice fancy dinner you put on a dress maybe some heels or something a nice little boot this is what the Burberry her um gives me now this one this one smells really good but i don't wear this one a lot just because it has a, a a heavier smell and it's like sweeter so i don't always like wearing sweet perfume perfumes all the time just because i feel like it can be a lot for the last one is the flower bomb by victor and Roth. look at the box cute pink box and the fragrance family is floral and it is a warm floral. The key notes are vanilla, jasmine, and orange blossom. And then in the description, it says it also has hints of rose in it. So let's take this one out of the box. Now for this one, I got the mini size. So this one is the 0.68 fluid ounces. Comes in this cute little cute little container now this one I feel like I, I loved it more when I first bought it but I think when I smelled it in the store I got it from Sephora as well when I smelled it in the store I think I more so smelled it on the card and then once I started wearing it more to me and correct tell me what y'all think in the comments but to me once it settles on my skin, it almost has a light powdery smell. Like, like you know how baby powder smells a little bit? Like it gives me like that, that type of smell once it settles. I mean, it smells good, but the thing that I do now when I smell fragrances is... I'll go in the store and I'll spray a bunch of fragrances on the little cards that they have, right? But take take a pen with you in your purse. I know I sound extra, but I'm just telling you what I do because I really do love fragrances. So I'll go to the store, I smell a couple, spray it on the card. I'll write what it is on the card and I walk around the store for a little bit to let the smell settle, right? Then after a while, go back and smell the cards. Because once the smell settles on the car, it's going to be like, hmm, okay. It doesn't exactly smell like how it smelled when I first sprayed it. So then I'll start throwing away the ones that I don't like, right? So once I get down to the last two cards of fragrances that I like, I'll spray one on one wrist and spray the other on the other wrist and let it dry. And I know you're probably saying, Sauce, I'm not going to walk around the store and take this long to pick out no fragrance trust me because like i said earlier about the body chemistry once a perfume settles on your body it smells different and your body might bring out different notes in the perfume so like for instance if it has like jasmine and vanilla your body chemistry might bring the vanilla out more or you might bring out the jasmine more you know what i'm saying so walk around the store let it settle on your skin and then i do like this and then I'm like, okay, this one smells better on me. So I didn't do that when I first bought this one. So I don't know if I would have let it settle on my skin more, I probably would have got the other scents from Victor and Roth besides this one. But it's not bad though. It's not bad. But like I said, it has more of that fresher, clean smell. And I think I was looking for more something, something a little more flowery or floral smelling 
and when that settled on my skin it didn't really give that too much but I don't know I might smell the other ones because they did just come out with the newer one that's in like the purple container so I might go smell that one I don't know I might like that better but yeah honestly I think out of the ones that we've talked about these are my favorites like this one once I run out of this like I'm for sure buying this one again so these are my top two if you care to know if y'all are interested in more videos like this I try to I'm trying to diversify the content on my page you know I know most of y'all know me as a recording artist as a rapper but you know I take a damn good picture you know a little a little modeling here and there if you need a print model you feel what I'm saying I do my own hair my own makeup so I'm just trying to Whatever I feel like I taught myself or that I learned how to do myself, I'm going to try to pass it off to y'all. Anything that's my favorite, I'm going to try to put y'all on game. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and as always, stay saucy.